Welcome back. We have certainly heard this warning before. Do not leave children by themselves in a hot car. But so far this summer, two Canadian kids have died. In Edmonton, police launched a campaign reminding parents their car is not a babysitter after seeing a jump in the number of children left unattended in sweltering vehicles. A message that didn't get through to one Edmonton dad. Vashi Capellos explains. Right here in a child seat. When Constable Stephen Kilpatrick right responded to a call of a child in a car Wednesday, he didn't know what to expect. I gotta say, it hit me a lot harder than I thought it would. The two year old was in a car in a parking garage. It was 30 degrees outside, hotter in the garage. His face was drenched in sweat. It's hard to look at, so I attempted to breach the driver's side uh, front window. The toddler was rescued and will be okay. His father is charged with abandoning a child. In Canada, an average of four to six children die every year from being left in a car, but it's a growing problem in Edmonton. Ten parents have been charged this summer. Sergeant Gary Willits is so troubled with the trend, he created the campaign, Your Vehicle Isn't a Babysitter. Willits says the numbers could be a reflection of more awareness, but he's worried parents aren't getting the message. It only takes seconds for them to get in the dangerous way. And to have people re thinking that it's okay to leave them alone for an extended period of time, it's just frightening. According to police, it's never okay to leave a child alone in a car, no matter the circumstance. But when it's especially hot outside, doctors say a car literally turns into an oven. And a child has no ability to get out. You're dehydrated and then you can lose conscious, you go into a coma, have convulsions and you can even die from that. It's a horrifying scenario, but not impossible. Earlier this year, an Edmonton toddler died from being trapped in a hot car. In Ontario, another child suffered the same fate. Experts say a busy society puts pressure on no, parents. No, I don't think that anybody puts their child in harm's way because of an intent to harm the child. For Constable Kilpatrick, intentional or not, he hopes parents take the time to ask themselves a question. Is a moment of convenience, leaving your kid in the car to run an errand, to do whatever you need to do, worth a lifetime of regret? Vashi Capellos, Global News.